Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy back on the Mad17 and today we actually have a post comp because I am an idiot and I accidentally forgot to turn on my microphone while I was recording this gameplay so I did do a live com. I just did not record the live com because I am an idiot. So basically I thought that this video would be a great great video to tell you guys what goes through my mind whenever I play Mad. So this is my Draft Champions team. I'm actually 2-0. I have the games posted on my channel. You guys can check it out. Maybe I'll leave it in the description below. Um, but basically, I'm going to tell you guys what I was thinking while playing this game. So then this is a great game to tell you guys my thought process behind it. So basically, you guys can see that I'm dinking and dunking my way down the field. And right there, Le'Veon Bell does a great job of making two people miss. But I'm throwing it to the flat slot because I noticed that my opponent isn't really shading underneath. He's running a lot of cover three, so I know the middle has got two hook zones in it. And one of them happens to be his user, um, which I attack that later on is right there on second and six. I just throw it up into coverage. I'm kind of setting him up here, but I'm kind of not at the same time. Like, I'm looking for the end zone, trying to pull his user away right there. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, Randy Moss can come up with it. But on fourth and six, I, I learned what my opponent does. He uses that right hook zone. So what did I do? I went ahead and put my uh, right of screen receiver in a slant. And I'm able to abuse where his zone would have been. So I noticed whenever I run a bunch on the left side, his user would immediately run over the left side. So I knew if I put that guy in a slant, that, that hook would be wide open. Right there, my opponent does a great job of getting the ball to the open receiver. Uh, but basically, on defense, the first thing I like to do is just run a little bit of stock coverage and, and mix in, uh, you know, like a, a little, like, three or four-man blitz that's not really consistent. It's right there, he just, he wasn't expecting a blitz because I hadn't been blitzing and it just comes screaming in. Third and 16, I actually did send a blitz, um, and it definitely forced him to scramble out, forcing a fourth and forever where I sent another little blitz. But unfortunately, it was a great job of doubting it up. I was a little bit upset in the game because so I thought that it was kind of a bullshit animation, but it's whatever. Then Adrian Peterson, I give him the flats because I know Adrian. Peterson does not have hands as he shows me right there honestly I swear anytime Adrian Peterson I never ever trust Adrian Peterson to catch the ball right there he'd actually no huddles after this I had a feeling he was running it and I was confident that if he was throwing it I would be able to cover it so I blitzed every one of my linebackers except from me and I did a great job of sealing up the field he had absolutely nobody open third and goal I sent I believe I only sent one person everybody else was in coverage and then in fourth and goal I do the same exact thing and I actually end up getting an interception um See, right there, that's just where your cornerbacks come in, you know, who you drafted. You could get the quickest receiver in the world, but he's still going to get teabagged if he doesn't have the aggressive plays ball in the air. Joe Hayden has the aggressive plays ball in the air. You know, I just like to draft players that I know will have a chance. If they get burned, that's one thing. But I hate watching my cornerbacks get teabagged, so I just can't stand it. Fourth down. Now, this is what people don't understand. On draft champions, I always punt the ball where they could field it. And this is why right here, bam, my man gets popped. He fumbles. A lot of the times in draft champions, they're not going to have a solid kick returner. Like in Mutt, they will. People will specifically have a kick returner, and people just don't. You can't guarantee you're going to get a good kick returner in Mutt. So it's important, honestly, that you should kick the ball. I usually punt it either all the way to the right or all the way to the left. So I usually get a free run right there. You know, nobody was open, but I had a huge hole because he wasn't sending really anybody. So I just took off of Phillip Rivers, whether he's a scrambling quarterback or not. He's got enough speed to get out past the line of scrimmage, and his user card wasn't playing it, so it's fine. Dropping back right there. My A receiver was open over the top, um, but I was trying to waste a little bit more time. I was trying to play the clock, but unfortunately, I bite myself in the ass because I... Right here, I, I went full stupid, and I completely forgot about the time, uh, and uh, and I just let the time expire. I'm an idiot. I missed my field goal, and even Andy Reid would be upset at me, but it's 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 whatever, man. So I'm up 7 to nothing, and I'm kicking the ball, and, you know, at this point, I'm kind of upset with myself, but I got to make sure that, you know, it's a close game. He still has a chance. I can't play bad because of it, and thank you, come again. There he goes. He throws a interception right there. That's his second interception, and that's just good play calling. I come out in the cover, too. And, uh, and he comes down and he plays the ball very, very well. I noticed uh, my cornerbacks play the cover two very, very well because they have very good zone coverage. Jonathan Joseph and Joe Hayden. Um, but right here, I'm just playing to the strengths of my offense. I run it to the right. Or I, I, I throw it to the right side two times in a row into the flats. He wasn't trading underneath. And uh, he just goes ahead and gets out of here. Um, so hopefully you guys get a little bit of an idea of how to adjust to your teammates based off of this video. What I was trying to say before is, you know, I threw the ball on the right side in the flats two times in a row, and then I no huddled because I seen it was man coverage, and the defense looked exactly the same which it was, so I threw it again in the flats to Le'Veon Bell, and then I just ran a screen to the left side because his user was always on the right side. That's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, definitely give a like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. It's going to be down in the description below. And as always, guys, peace.